Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, yet he shall live. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. O fool, slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. He blessed bread and broke and gave it to them. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, we ask you to open our eyes, and we know that you do so by means of the things of love, the things of affection the warm feelings and thoughts that we have towards you and towards our neighbor, that these things open our eyes to the meaning of Easter, the meaning of your resurrection, your glorification. Lord, help our eyes be opened to love you, to love one another as you love us, and to serve you as our God and our King. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, as in heaven, so upon the earth. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. O Lord, forgive us our trespasses. Amen. Please rise for the recitation found in the Order of Servant pamphlet. <clears throat> but the angel answered and said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come, see the place where the Lord lay. <coughs> Please be seated. Our lesson is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 16, verses 1 through 13. Now when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Salome, brought spices that they might come and anoint him. Very early in the morning, on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb when the sun had risen. And they said to themselves, Who will roll away the stone from the door of the tomb for us? 
But when they looked up, they saw that the stone had already been rolled away, for it was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man clothed in a long white robe, sitting on the right side. They were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He is risen. He's not here. See the place where they laid him. But go, tell the disciples and Peter that he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him, as he said to you. So they went out quickly, and they fled from the tomb, and they trembled, and they were afraid. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. Now when he rose early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven demons. So she went and she told those who had been with him as they mourned and wept. And when they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they did not believe. After that, he appeared in another form to two disciples as they walked and went into the country. And they went and told it to the rest, but they did not believe them either. Amen. Happy Easter. Good morning. Chancel looks lovely with the beautiful flowers that you brought. The flowers represent the Lord rising again, springtime. It's a wonderful time of year when new life starts to reappear. And it's a great time, it's a great symbolic time for us to celebrate the Lord's resurrection. Because lots of times we go through winter periods in our life, periods that are cold, and there's not a lot of light. And you look, and maybe you feel like things will never grow again in your heart. But spring always comes after winter. Just like nighttime, the morning always comes. Now, if anybody's ever experienced a night where the day didn't follow? No? And anybody ever experienced a winter that didn't get followed by a spring? No? It's the way the Lord made things to happen, is that we go through cycles. But you can sometimes get so afraid that you think, now, things are never going to get better. Things just are going to stay sad, and I'm just going to cry and be miserable. Things are never going to get better. The disciples who had seen Jesus crucified, they had been with the Lord. He was like sunshine and springtime and life. It was wonderful. And then he died. And they went away very afraid. And they said within themselves, you know, it's never going to get any better. This is really sad. We're really afraid. They've killed him. Maybe they'll kill us too. So when Mary Magdalene came along with some other women to the tomb to find the Lord and to anoint his body, get it ready for burial, it wasn't there. Why wasn't it there? He had risen. We know the answer. He had risen. And they, they were so ready to stay feeling sad, and, and they were so ready to just try to accept that the Lord had been killed that they had a hard time believing. It was a miracle. And Mary Magdalene, it says, Mary Magdalene, who the Lord had cast out seven demons. Mary Magdalene, who probably throughout her life had had times when things were really bad. She was the first to say, the Lord chose her for a reason. The Lord chose her for a reason because she stands for something within us that really needs to be reminded that things will get better. The Lord has risen. The, Lord, the life of the Lord makes for a heavenly life. The divine of the Lord makes heaven in us. To remember those ideas and feelings that come. So he first appeared to Mary Magdalene. And he told her, go, tell the other disciples. So she ran and she told the other disciples. And what happened then? 
Did they believe her? They didn't believe her. Uh, two other people saw the Lord, and the two other disciples ran back to told, tell the, the 12 disciples, did they believe him? No. The section that comes next after the reading says, the Lord actually appeared then to his disciples. There were 11 at that point. And he said, why are you so slow to believe? I sent you messengers to tell you that I've risen again. Why are you so slow to believe? Why is your heart cold towards believing? Why is your mind so dark towards believing? I have risen. Come see the place where they had crucified me, the, the print of my, on my hands and my side. Thomas hadn't seen the Lord, and he said, I want to see that. Unless I see that, I won't believe either. And you know, all of us can be in states where we think, unless we're, it's proven to us in ways that we can't possibly doubt, we won't believe. And therefore the Lord said, blessed are those who do not see and yet believe. Mary Magdalene stands for that part of us that can first see the Lord. She was a disciple to the disciples. She was a person who proclaimed to those who were going to proclaim. The Lord used her because she stands for those things in us that tend to be really doubtful, but want to believe really badly. Those parts enough where we've made a lot of mistakes, the seven demons stand for all the things that we can do that are wrong. The Lord can heal those things in us. Do we want to believe that? Do we want to believe that? And Easter is a day where we celebrate that the Lord has indeed risen, perform miracles of changing his own life from being dead in his body to being alive again and can change all of our lives. Do you believe that? Is that spirit of Mary Magdalene in you where you recognize things can go pretty bad, but they'll get better if I trust in the Lord? I can have some dark ideas in my mind, but if I turn to the Lord, especially with love and the desire to follow his teachings, which are teachings about loving each other, and not carrying around darkness in our heart, surely the Lord can rise within us and appear to us where we can see him, love him, and believe in him. Happy Easter. The Lord is risen. May he rise in your hearts that you may believe in him too. Amen. Please rise and join together in the song, When Very Early in the Dawn, on 993.
please bow your heads for the closing prayer. O oh Lord, we each too come to your tomb to find you. And part of us believes it will be empty and stay empty. But O oh Lord, you have arisen, and we ask you to rise in our own hearts. We ask you to cleanse us of all the demons or evils, all the things that stand in our way from truly seeing and believing in you. And give us that love and affection that's represented by Mary Magdalene, that desire to see you, to hold you, to be close to you. And Lord, let us also proclaim the things that we know from you to others, that they may see your life rising within us and may give glory to you as we do. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.
Thank you.